as the main accused in the worldly hit and run case mihir shah was arrested by mumbai police yesterday from uh, virar naka he was produced before the court today wherein the court has sent him uh, to 6 day custody until july 16 as a part of his remand cops had put forth several uh, points of argument which was a part of his remand copy as well one the fact that there were several people who helped him escape the cops now want to get a hold of his uh, cell phone uh, track details track call records and messages of who all were involved in helping him escape secondly he also had spoken to his father there was tampering of evidences that had taken place so that is one crucial aspect that cops want to investigate they also want to know uh, they also want to cross question him along with uh, the driver uh, that is uh, who was present uh, along with uh, along with mihir shah on the night of the accident uh, they want to cross question him and the driver is in the police custody until tomorrow that will be an important point of investigation by cops so that uh, Uh, so that there could be a water tight case against him and also to understand what really transpired that night apart from that cops would also further want to investigate and understand who all from mihir's family were along with him as he escaped from mumbai all of these would be an important crucial aspect for uh, mumbai police to investigate including the fact that they'd have to get access to his cell phone and get more details uh, from his cell phone now all of this is uh, something that cops are investigating but apart from that uh, investigation by the cops has also revealed that a uh, while uh, mihir when he was leaving from uh, the juhu uh, uh, from the juhu bar he had spotted a bear but uh, bear but then what happened was that uh, in order to escape in order to ensure that he is not found out by the cops uh, he chopped off his hair also uh, he shaved his beard all of these uh, have come out now as a part of the investigation he in fact tried to ensure that he changes his look a bit so that he is not found out by the cops apart from that uh, the number plate of uh, the bmw car is something that cops have not really found Uh, this is also something that's a point of investigation for them. So on all of these grounds is where uh, cops have uh, cops have gotten the custody of Mihir Shah until July 16. Apart from that, the custody of the driver in this case uh, is with cops until uh, until July 11. That is tomorrow. So there'll be cross question that is expected to take place. Uh, this was the development that took place uh, in the Woli Hit and Run case today. But apart from that, we also saw uh, opposition leaders such as uh, Aditya Thakre as well as Aslam Sheikh visiting the residence of. Uh, the victim uh, this morning wherein they said that it was not just a case of culpable homicide but the accused in this case should be charged with murder in fact uh, the pressure to take action against uh, the accused in this case is clearly mounting on uh, on the chief minister wherein he also gave a statement today that uh, come what may all those who are involved in this uh, would be uh, uh, they'll be they'll be uh, they'll be justice meted out to the family of the uh, of the victim and the accused in this case would uh, would in fact uh, be uh, be thoroughly meted uh, with uh, law apart i also he also mentioned that there'll be 10 lakh uh, uh, there'll, there'll be 10 lakh reward that'll be given to the family of uh, the victim and amidst all of this we also saw rajesh shah uh, the father of the accused shah uh, in this case who was a deputy leader in uh, shiv sena eknath shinde faction he was taken down from his position this was a development that took place uh, this uh, today in the worldly hit and run case but amidst all of this politics uh, and war of words over uh, worldly hit and run case continues because uh, the family is also demanded that we tougher section that should be levied against uh, the accused in this case apart from that uh, the the opposition leaders have time and again mentioned that rajesh shah was uh, sent out on bail just because he was a leader from the eknath shinde faction this is uh, uh, this is where the uh, case stands right now so far none of the leaders uh, from the eknath shinde faction had met the family this was something that family had time and again mentioned about but milind devra uh, is meeting the family of the accused around 5:30 pm uh, which is where there'll be further uh, there'll be further updates that come in and parallelly we've also seen that the, uh, that the government has mentioned that there'll be 10 lakh uh, as a reward amount as a compensation amount that will be given to the family of the victim